Hi guys, this is AC Game or back with a new video on Punishing Grey Raven. Now in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is talking a little bit about items that you should be farming and places to go ahead and farm. Obviously, there is the resources section, which it makes it easier for you to go and farm some of the resources. It's all separated. It's pretty nice. Um, however, there is some items that you will need to prioritize getting first or would like to get first. So hopefully, this guide is very, very helpful towards you guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Punisher Grey Raven. I am still enjoying this game, even with all the little issues that people are picking up. Um, it's not too big of an issue for me to actually quit the game and I don't think anyone should be quitting the game The game is still recommendable. I will go ahead and recommend this game to many people It is free to play friendly The only reason why people say it's not free to play friendly was because of that event The skins were the thing that were unlikely for many free to play players to get which to be honest skins Skins doesn't bring you too much of a, a benefit So anyways, let's go over to the battle section and go over to resources and go over to the side I would recommend you guys to um, go ahead and farm now one of the most recommended places to farm in this place is the rare memory drop however i would like to say this if you have not opened up the last one the a um e4 do not farm this do not farm this don't waste your resources on here only go ahead and do that when you manage to open this up because with that you will have a 17 point 14 percent to get yourself a six star memory which is great um a higher chance now even if you don't get a six star memory there is a pity with it as well guaranteed to get six star memory after clearing eight times which is dope i wish it gave me a counter of how many trials i need to do before I actually before i can hit this pity because i don't know how many i've done so far that i haven't reached a uh, single six star memory and i only got two six star characters which is pretty dope in my opinion um six um two out of the 12 or 10 times i did it was actually pretty nice now this is only a place i recommend if you open up the a um e4 if you haven't opened up a e4 do not farm this now with the equipment um xp materials now the only reason why you would require this material is if you have yourself a six star memory now if you are someone who summoned and because of the mileage points that were given to us you did get about four um, six star memories if you want to work on them this is going to be the best place to get some of these materials however i actually think this equipment section if i am correct you go over to this event section the co-op this is where you can get some of the uh, materials as well equipment xp materials so it's like hitting two birds with one stone if you think about it you get a chance to get a five star equipment and you also go over here to get some memory upgrade materials so i would actually recommend you guys to stop farming equipment xp materials until co-op opens up for you guys then you can go ahead and do that however it, because co-op does take you i believe you have to reach a certain level before co-op opens up and you still need to go ahead and farm this then go ahead farm it early on go ahead and go over to the equipment xp materials to farm the materials you will require however i would only recommend you guys to work on your six star memories if you have five star memories level them up to like 25 and then stop until you get your first six star memories now with the equipment overclock materials you wouldn't you wouldn't actually be farming this unless you got you guys have your six star memory if you don't have a six star memory just stay away from that because there is no reason for you to overclock your um, five star equipments because not equipments you can go ahead and five star your equipments don't overclock your five star memories now you will get two five star equipment now if you guys are leveling it up and you want to overclock it then yes i would go ahead and recommend you guys to go ahead and farm this now with all the items and uh, resources i'm telling you to farm go ahead and farm it if you require the resources at that moment but i'm talking about the most important one the rare memory drop when you guys have enough stamina and there is no co-op opening at that time go ahead and dump it all on the rare memory drop and then go ahead and go over to the equipment overclock materials because then you can go ahead and overclock the six star memories you have now with the construct equipment because i haven't actually summoned that many times i don't actually require this i can passively um, level up my characters as well as i still have enough to level up my characters continuously my three main characters so i actually haven't farmed this i haven't gone over to the construct equipment to farm any items that will require to level up my characters again if you're someone who has already spent a lot of money and have done it multiple pulls you've got yourself multiple s characters then sure go over to this construct equipment to get yourself some um, upgrade materials now one of the ones i would recommend you highly is the large amount of cogs this is a good place to get some cogs now with overclocking your gear and getting gears that you want to level up and upgrade this is where 
cogs come in cogs are going to be very important at upgrading and you're going to require a large amount of cogs so obviously go ahead and farm some cogs now with the skill points drop i haven't actually farmed this in a while so i believe i farmed this like on the first day and i just haven't done it so far so skill points is not like a place i would recommend to farm every single time probably once a day or stuff like that and then you should be fine now with the equipment this is like a place i would highly highly recommend you guys to go ahead and farm this place will give you a ton of more chances to get yourself a five star equipment and if you guys are someone who wants to get five star equipment for some of your characters that you that you don't want to summon then this is going to be great i don't believe you can you know you can't you can't get six star equipment from here but five star equipments are still worth upgrading and are very very useful now i've actually done like 20 stages or 15 stages in this event in the co-op and i haven't gotten a single five star gear which kind of sucks it kind of sucks i have been doing the artist content and i still didn't get myself a five star um equipment but yeah i would highly recommend this place you also get some upgrade materials to level up some of your equipment so this is a great place to farm tell me down in the comment section if you guys are still enjoying the game hopefully you guys find this very very um useful and informative don't forget to like the video subscribe i do have a current giveaway out where you guys need to go ahead and subscribe to the channel you won't be entering into the giveaway unless you're subscribed go over to my giveaway video uh, i should leave a link down to the video in my comments so go ahead and take a look at that leave a comment any comments and you should be entered into the giveaway it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out